Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Merry Christmas to all who celebrate. I wanted to do a holiday themed video to release on Christmas and I thought to myself, what better than the holiday edition troopers from the Star Wars Black series? So if you're familiar with these at all, or if you're not, Hasbro did five troopers repainted in Christmas colors. And I know what you're thinking, five, there's only four here. Yes, there is a fifth one. We'll get there in a second. So they decided to do these five holiday repaints that I just think look absolutely fantastic. They did them as different store exclusives. So this one over here, the Sith Trooper is from Best Buy. The Range Trooper, which is dressed like Santa, is from Target. The Clone Trooper is from GameStop. And then the Storm Trooper is from Amazon. Now there is a fifth one that was a Walmart exclusive Snow Trooper. And unfortunately, Walmart decided to push that off until the new year. So that's going to be coming out from Walmart sometime in January. Um, I haven't even been able to get pre-orders in. The website's being kind of weird for me. I guess they released to local stores. I was not lucky enough to find one at my local store. Um, but when I try to go to the website to pre-order one, it tells me like all the stores in my area that have one. And obviously I'm not traveling around to a bunch of different stores right now. So I just wanted to order one online, but it's not going to be until January. And I wanted to do the video in December. So I just thought, whatever, we'll go without the Walmart one. But it's unfortunate they decided to release that well after Christmas. Not really sure what Walmart's thinking on that one, but it is what it is. So we're going to take a look at these four. I think they look fantastic. I mean, they even have like ugly, ugly sweaters, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, like I said, this one's dressed as Santa Claus and they have little repainted porgs and Babu Frick. It looks absolutely fantastic. Dio's here dressed as Rudolph. So these look like a ton of fun. The packaging you can see has this kind of like snowflake uh, Christmas design. It has almost like a little like uh, you're sending a package to someone. I just think they did such a great job with the packaging. It's fairly basic, but I think it, it gets the point across and definitely has a holiday theme, which is really, really fun. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead, get these four open, and we're going to take a closer look. Here are the four out of the packaging, and I got to say, they're all really great. I can't decide which one's my favorite. I'm leaning towards the Santa Range Trooper, but honestly, all four of these are a lot of fun. We'll start over here with the Sith Trooper which is the Best Buy exclusive. He's got the scarf, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. He's got the uh, mostly green armor, but he does have these kind of like candy cane striped uh, socks down here, which is pretty fantastic. Now, if you're familiar with the normal figures, they should have all the same uh, range of articulation. So they have a ball joint here. Plus there should be a hinge, I believe, but eh, he might, I think the hinge is in there, but he might have just the ball joint. Uh, you can have the hinge there for the shoulder. Shoulder armor gets in the way a little bit, but you do have a rotation, and then you have a butterfly joint as well. So then you have, uh, looks like no uh, bicep swivel on this guy, because he does have the hinge and swivel in the elbow itself. And then he's got a hinge and swivel in the wrist, although mine's pretty tight, I gotta say. He's got that kind of ball joint there in the torso. Kick about this much forward. Kick more to the side, not really to the back because of the butt flap. You do have a thigh swivel, although mine is also very tight. Then you have double jointed knees. And then you have kind of a hinge and tilt in the ankle. But wow, mine's really tight there, so I'm not going to do too much with it. But uh, you can see the swivel there as well. So I love the scarf. I think he looks good. He does come with this ridiculously gigantic blaster, which I don't know what he was supposed to do with this in the normal release, uh, let alone this one, but I think he's supposed to hold it down there. I think that's the the trigger portion, and um, but it's hard enough like to get it into his hand. And then when he does hold it, it kind of sticks out to a weird angle. I'll see what I can do about actually getting this to fit in his hand. Well, it goes in there, but not very well. It's a very interesting weapon. And they've painted it uh, mostly white with the giant orange tip on the end, which just makes me think of like a toy gun or something, which is, I'm assuming, what they were going for. Uh, but let's be honest, that's not even the most important accessory that he comes with. If I put him back and he'll actually stand for a moment, probably not. He's the one I have the trouble getting to stand the most. I don't really know why. But he's got the tiny holiday painted Babu Frick which looks absolutely amazing. They did such a good job with this. And he's actually got a little bit of articulation. The arms are on super tiny little ball joints, and then he does have some waist movement as well. So he looks great. Absolutely love this accessory. Really a ton of fun. 
you can actually put his little mask down as well, which is really, really cool. So I did not expect something this small to have that much articulation. Very, very fun. Let's move on to the Santa Range Trooper. This one's definitely uh, in contention for my favorite, just because they did such a good job painting him. I mean, you know, he's got the suit with the kind of like tails down here that they trimmed in white, which looks great. Uh, the boots are black with a little bit of snow. I think that's so fun. <laughs> Even just the way they painted the helmet, it looks so good. Uh, head can swivel side to side. You have a little bit of front to back, but not a ton. Now he's got this big kind of uh, white fur piece up here, which hinders a little bit, but if you just get in there, you can move the arm up and it'll kind of move out of the way because it is a softer plastic. You also have a rotation. You have one elbow joint and it has the rotation and the hinge right there, which I think works out really well. And then you have a swivel and hinge in the hand. He has just a little bit of side to side in the waist. You might be able to get more. Actually, you can get more. Is that a ball joint? I can't tell, honestly. It might be a ball joint, the way it moves. Um, I, I honestly can't tell. I mean, not that you need him to move a lot in the waist, but it is there. Uh, you can kick out to the side. You can kick a little forward. It's hindered by the belt and everything, uh, but it is there. And then he does have a thigh swivel. He's got a uh, very similar to the elbow joint in the knee where he's got the hinge, but also the rotation there. And then he's got a little bit of play here in the ankle. But he looks great. They did such a good job with this. I really, really love the Santa Range Trooper. Now he comes with two accessories. He has this kind of uh, all translucent blue gun. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like an icicle or something. It's probably what they're going for there. And then he's got this little uh, droid. I believe this is Dio from Rise of Skywalker. Now these little pieces here are on ball joints, which is actually kind of neat. So you can move them around however you want. Three individual tiny ball joints. But obviously he's painted like Rudolph. He looks like a reindeer. He has a little red tip for the nose. He's got the spinning wheel. Unfortunately, he doesn't stand up very well. I almost kind of wish that there was an option, maybe like if just a little bit of this was kind of flattened or beveled out so he'd stand. I know that kind of takes away from the rolling aspect, which, you know, you can't roll in every so often you hit a smoothed out spot, but there's no great way to make him stand, unfortunately. So I don't know exactly what the solve would be for that, but until then, I'm just going to have to kind of prop him up against Santa's leg because otherwise he's just going to fall right over. Moving on to the Clone Trooper, I love the ugly sweater. That is such a great feature there. You've got the TIE Fighters, you got the Death Star, Snowflakes. Looks fantastic. The red and the green done very nicely. He's got swivel from side to side, a little bit of up and down as well. Again, with the shoulder armor really hindering the uh, hinge there. This one's not as bad. You can get a little bit out of it. Uh, swinging rotation there uh, bicep swivel double jointed elbows as you can see then you do have a rotation and hinge in the hand and you have a really nice glossy finish for all of this green which i think really pops the red's a little bit more i mean some of the parts of the red are shiny as well but you do have some of that kind of darker muted red for contrast and then the uh, really nice shiny um plasticky looking parts i just think i don't know why it makes me just think of like Christmas decorations or something like that. I love that ugly sweater. Uh, for the hips, you can kick forward. You might be able to kick a little bit more forward, but the uh, leg armor starts to get in the way. Kick out to the side, can't really go back. You have a thigh swivel there, double jointed knees, as you'd expect. And then I love the, the green and white socks. I think giving all these guys like elf socks, I think is just such a great touch. And then you have the hinge and swivel in the ankle. So I love this one. I love all of them. Honestly, it's really hard to pick a favorite because they all have different parts that I really enjoy. So let me see if I can get him to stand without falling over. That will be a feat. He comes with a tiny little porg. I don't know if they're going for like a penguin here or what. That's kind of what I think of at first with the black and the white. And he's got a little scarf, which is pretty adorable. So you get a fun little porg there. And then he has this. And it's obviously painted to look like a candy cane, which makes total sense. But I don't know what this was supposed to be originally. I don't know if this is like a weird rifle or something. 
I don't know. I wonder, I'm thinking this is like a gaffy stick or something that came with a different release and they just thought, hey, that kind of looks like a cane. We can paint it like a candy cane and give it to one of the stormtroopers. So I don't think this is supposed to be with a clone trooper. I think this is just some accessory they pulled from somewhere else in the line and painted to look like a candy cane. And then, okay, it kind of does. But yeah, not my favorite accessory. Uh, next up, and certainly not least, we have the stormtrooper. He also has an ugly sweater. He's got an X-Wing and a Rebel symbol and an ad at there at the bottom, which is really, really well done. Nice Stormtrooper helmet. That's on a ball joint and has a hinge. You can see there. Again, I do really like the shiny red shoulder armor, but it does get in the way. He almost has no range of motion in that hinge because of it, because it just automatically hits in. So that's kind of a bummer. But you do have rotation. You have bicep swivel. You have double jointed elbows right there. You have the hinge, although mine's a little tight, but there we go. Got the hinge and the rotation in the wrist. You have that kind of ball joint in the torso there. I don't think he has anything in the waist, but then you can kick forward in the hip, kick out to the side, thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And then, of course, you have the hinge and swivel in the foot. And again, he's got the uh, striped socks, which is a great look. I think it's funny he's still got the holster on the back for the gun, even though he doesn't come with a gun. So I think that's kind of funny. But he does look good. I love the ugly, ugly sweater. He's got just enough red on him to kind of make him pop so he's not all green, which I like. He looks very good. Now, he does come with this, like, ridiculous pole arm. This thing is massive. Uh, it's got this nice translucent blade, and then it's got a red and white stripe pattern going on there which I think looks really good. And then he comes with a super tiny little white Porg, which is maybe like a snowman or something. Maybe that's what they're going for. Just a guess. But I think these are a ton of fun. Um, like I said, they were different store exclusives, so to track them down was a bit of a feat, and I'm still waiting on the Walmart one because that's going to be sometime after Christmas, which is kind of a bummer. But I still think these are worth hunting down and picking up. They're just a lot of fun. They're just goofy holiday repaints. Yeah, you might already have these troopers, but when you can get all five of them together, they look fantastic. And just having the full set will be really nice for a display piece. I'm really excited to eventually get that last one. Um, but I, I love every single one of these. Like I said, it's really hard to nail down my favorite. I think the Santa one is the best executed. I think that just, you know, the mold just worked out and everything just really fell into place for that one. So I think that was the one that was like the most no-brainer of what to repaint him as. And I think they did a perfect job with that. The other three uh, look really good. You know, they're just kind of combinations of red and green, which makes total sense. They all have the stripy socks, which I love. It kind of makes you think of, like, Santa and his elves. They all have, like, whenever they depict elves, they always have those kind of, like, really, like, high stripy socks with the little feet shoes. I would have loved it if they could have somehow, like, remolded these to kind of curl up a little bit or something like that. I know that's asking a lot, but that would have been fantastic to kind of give them, like, elf shoes, something like that. Um... But it's just, it's just a ton of fun. It's just goofy fun. I think it was such a fun idea to do this. And I'm really looking forward to get that fifth one to complete the collection. But even if I, for some reason, ever do, these four are a ton of fun. And I definitely recommend, even if you can only get one or two or however many you can hunt down, I still think it's worth picking them up because they're just a lot of fun. And I just think this was a really neat idea. And it's just, you know, pure goofy fun that we need right now. So um, I definitely recommend grabbing as many of these as you can. I mean, at least one of each is what I'm trying to say. But however many, if you can't get the full set, track down whatever ones you can get. I think they're a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas to all those who celebrate. Happy holidays. If you don't celebrate, happy Friday. <laughs> Hope you have a good weekend. And just everyone out there, happy holidays. And thank you so much for watching.